Welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. Hey, so we are out for a hike today at Manito Park here in Spokane proper. And I began to think a little bit on my way here about giving and exactly what we can do with our lives to give back for the grace and mercy that we've been talking about for the last couple months here on this channel. God's given us so much, what do we give back? And I got two passages for you. The first one comes out of 2 Corinthians chapter 9. It says this, Now this I say to you who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. He who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must do as he purposed in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion for God, because he loves a cheerful giver. I love that. God loves a cheerful giver. There's two great messages here. One is if you want to reap bountifully, you have to sow bountifully. Just like in farming, you can't actually reap more than you put into the ground. So you have to actually do the work to put it out there. And you might think that sounds great, uh, but he goes on, he explains a little bit more in verse eight. It says, God is able to make grace uh, I'm sorry, God is able to make all grace abound to you so that always having all sufficiency and everything, you may have an abundance for every good deed. See, God wants to give us an abundance abundance, but he does ask that we give out of what he's given to us. If we realize that everything we own in the world was given to us by him, it's very easy to turn and give that back. And if we do that, God gave us the stuff, he asked us to give it back. If we do, he gives us abundance. I love that. It really is like that perfect father that gives you all the ability and all the skills and all the training to do the thing you're to do and then rewards you for doing what he trained you to do. I love it. So when we think about giving, we're not just talking about our time and our energy. We're also talking about goods. How do you support your local church? How do you support missionaries around you? How do you support the gospel going forward? Luke has a little bit to say about that that I think we'll close with. Luke chapter 6 verse 38. Give and it will be given to you. They will pour into your lap a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. For by your standard of measure, it will be measured to you in return. If you're curious in your life as to why you feel like you work very hard and wind up with nothing, I think Luke is asking the question, what is it that you are giving? What is it that you're sowing? What have you given out of the goodness of your heart because God has given to you? Because in that measure, it is what is returned to you. Oftentimes, if we are not of a giving mindset, then we don't catch those breaks financially and emotionally and relationally in our life. So that is my encouragement to you and also to myself. What is it that I put out in the world? Because that is the measure in which God is going to bless me. Now, having said all of that, uh, I am not trying to preach some sort of prosperity gospel where if you pray hard enough, you get a new Ferrari. However, if you desire to receive abundantly, we must be giving abundantly. And that is my encouragement to you. Give to those local churches, that local missionary, whatever it is, that thing that you support, that you believe is furthering the kingdom of God, and God will reward you abundantly. I didn't say it. Corinthians says it, and so does Luke. Well, God bless. I will see you next week. Be encouraged.